we who worship by the Spirit of God are the true circumcision, growing in Christ Jesus and putting no confidence in the flesh. Nevertheless, if anyone thinks he has reason to be confident in the flesh, in his own efforts to achieve salvation, to be specific, let them know that I have more than enough, enough to fill up the entire Pacific. A legitimate birth circumcised exactly eight days after birth an Israelite from the elite tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of Hebrews, an exemplary Hebrew from more than just my point of view, a real Hebrew if there ever was one among the already few, a Pharisee as to the observance of the law, a strict and devout devotee to God's law, of the Pharisees who demand the strictest obedience to the Jewish law, as to my zeal for Jewish tradition, a persecutor of the church, a fiery defender of the purity of my religion, even to the point of persecuting the church. I was so zealous that I harshly hunted down Christ's body, I was surely their worst foe. And as to righteousness, which my fellow Jews believes is in the law, I proved myself blameless, always going by the book, a meticulous observer of everything set down in God's law book. I obeyed the law without fault. No one surpassed me, I was without a peer. I once thought these things were valuable, now I consider them worthless. The very credentials these people are waving as something so special and matchless, I'm tearing up and throwing out with the trash. I've now forsaken them, regarding them as nothing but trash, nothing compared to the delight of experiencing Christ Jesus as my Lord. To truly know Him meant letting go of everything from my past and throwing all my boasting on the garbage heap. At last, knowing it's all like a power of manure to me, so that I may be enriched in the reality of knowing Christ Jesus and embrace Him as Lord in all His greatness. Yes, everything else is worthless when compared with the infinite value I once ignored, the innumerable value of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. For His sake, I have discarded everything else, counting it all as garbage, so that I could gain Christ and become one with Him. I've dumped it all in the trash so that I could embrace Christ and be embraced by Him. I didn't want some pity in fear of brand of righteousness, a righteousness that comes from keeping a list of rules, mere Jewish strictness, when I could get the robust kind of righteousness, a righteousness that comes from trusting Christ, God's righteousness. For God's way of making us right with Himself depends on faith, behold His graciousness. I therefore give up all that inferior stuff, so I could know Christ personally, always desiring, desiring to experience His resurrection power, be a partner in His suffering, and go all the way with Him to death itself. Christ Jesus is the most valuable thing in my life, more valuable than what I thought was, and more valuable than life itself. I want to know Him, and experience the mighty power that raised Him from the dead. My mind is surely set on Him and no one else instead, denying myself, taking up my cross, and following him on this narrow road, I want to suffer with him, sharing in his death, so that one way or another, I will experience the resurrection from the dead. Nothing else in this world gives me more satisfaction than Christ Jesus himself. I am therefore dedicated to making him magnificent, even in the lives around me, even though this is nothing like simplicity itself. Night and day, my heart is set towards making him their most cherished treasure. I therefore don't mind what happens to me next. I hope you get the picture. Whether I live or die, I desire that Christ be honored in my body. And so when I tell you to die is gain, you better believe me. My desire to break camp here and be with Christ is as strong as the waves on a stormy sea. Some days I can think of nothing better, even when fully conscious. I fervently long to be rebellated from this body and be joined fully to Christ Jesus. I long to go and be with Christ, which would be for me far more advantageous. Here is something that has to be understood by those joined to the true vine. Dying means getting more of him, nothing else would suit me fine. This is what is normally overlooked by most of those on the narrow road. While we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord, I therefore prefer to rather be absent from the body and be at home with the Lord. I've disposed of everything, counting it all as garbage, 
so that I could gain Christ and become one with Him. This I gotta acknowledge. And just as I've chunked my credentials, throwing them all out with the trash, I wouldn't mind meeting my death in order to gain more of Christ. My passion is to be consumed with Him. By nothing else can I ever be enticed. Therefore, when I tell you to die again, I mean every bit of it. I would surely say the same, even if you told me to think again. My desire to break camp here and be with Christ is so strong. I long to go and be with Jesus, which would be far better for me 10 times out of 10. Dying means getting more of him. Nothing else would suit me super fine. Moral man, to live is Christ and to die is again. For while we are absent from the body, we are present with the Lord.